Hello and welcome to my channel. We are now about to commence week three of the Battle of the Spray Waxes. The bonnet has been sitting outside all week. This week has been mostly overcast, early 20s with little to no rain. As we always do, we start with a touch wash to simulate a weekly wash. I haven't told you about the price points of each of these spray, spray waxes. So first we'll start with the Autoglim Rapid Ceramic Spray. It comes in a 500ml bottle and is $35. This equates to seven cents, seven cents per mil. Over to Bowden's own bead machine, um, that is the same, 500ml, $35, uh, seven cents per mil. The Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax, it comes in a 768ml bottle and is $33. So this equates to four cents per mil. So the price points on the Autoglim and the Bowden's own um, are pretty much identical. The Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic, Way, ceramic Wax is, uh, is a, quite a bit cheaper um, than the other two. Um, so yeah, so it's time to test the uh, hydrophobic properties of these three. Starting with the Autoglim. As we can see, it's a lot easier to flood the panel than it was last week. However, the sheeting on the panel is still strong. Bowden's own bead machine's up next. It's still very hard to flood the panel and the sheeting is very strong with this one as well. Over to the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. As we can see, that's almost failed. This is only after two weeks out in the weather. There are still some sheeting qualities remaining, but it's almost completely gone. This is the comparison to the rest of the bonnet, which has nothing on it. As you can see, the wax is still doing its job. I wanted to test the rest of the bonnet to the Meguiar's because it looks like it's almost failed. As we can see, the Meguiar's is still sheeting a bit quicker than the rest of the bonnet. Um, not much quicker, but it's still, still doing a job. It's time to test the beading. The beading isn't as strong as it was last week for the Auto Glim, however, it's still quite strong. This is the same as the bead machine. However, it does live up to its name as it is beating better than the Auto Glim at the moment. There's almost no beating left on the Maguires. As Meguiar's is the cheapest product, it doesn't surprise me that it looks like it's failing first. 
I think I'll do five weeks of this. I am going on holidays next week, so I will miss next week's update. Thanks for watching. A like, comment and subscribe really helps the channel like you wouldn't imagine. So anything you can do will help. Thanks for watching.